Hello and welcome Aries. How are you all doing? Today I am going to be doing messages from your angels and the card deck that I'll be using is by Doreen Virtue. Another beautiful deck by Doreen. Anyway, let's get started. The uh, reading for today will cover April through June of this year. Messages from your angels. So let me go ahead and get started with the shuffling to find out what messages we've got for Aries. I also wanted to address, guys, um, someone had commented on one of my videos that I shuffle too much. And honestly, guys, that's my style of reading. Um, that's how I do them. I, I shuffle until either cards jump or I feel intuitively that it's time to pick one out of the deck. So if this annoys you or bothers you in any way, please feel free to find another channel, find another reader um, that is more in tune with the style of reading that you prefer. I will not be offended in any way whatsoever. So I want to make sure that my viewers are happy being here. So that's all I have to say on that matter. Anyway, moving forward, let's see what messages we have coming forth, Aries. Okay, a couple more. Okay, let's see what we've got from your angels, Aries. And there we go. That one jumped. <laughs> we have Angel Crystal coming through for you guys. What a great card. Love it. All right, let's see what else we've got for you. Okay, Aries. Messages from your angels. Wow. Angel Aurora jumped out of the deck. And that falls in the immediate future. So let's see what's up with that. And another jumper. Angel Fiona. Okay. And bottom of the deck, and she's been showing up quite a lot lately, is Angel Francesca. All right. So let's start your reading, Aries. So in the present position, we have Angel Crystal. And here she is. And her card says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. So I'm kind of feeling for some of you guys that you're kind of at the end of your rope and you're losing faith and hope in regard to an issue that you've been dealing with. And you're kind of tired of thinking positive. But this card, Angel Crystal, is basically reaffirming for you to have faith, have hope, because there is something positive that's waiting for you, something positive that's about to happen. Um, and it's something new, um, something new on the horizon that is not crystal clear to you at this moment, which is so interesting that her name is Crystal. Um, so just have a little bit of patience. Open your eyes to what's in front of you, because sometimes it's not very clear unless we kind of still our minds, still our hearts to just kind of quiet down a minute so that you can kind of observe what's going on around you. So have a little bit of faith and patience and hope because whatever it is that you're, you've been dreaming about, hoping for, trying to manifest, it's around the corner. It's something positive, something good that's meant just for you. And even though you don't feel like it's a it's going to happen for you you're losing hope kind of at the end of your rope this is reaffirming guys that it's going to happen so just hang in there okay so in the immediate future we've got angel aurora and her card says you are flying high right now which may threaten others but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example Wow, well, check her out. She's confident. She's flying, literally flying, soaring through the skies with pride and just 
She's very confident. She exudes confidence. So some of you guys, Aries, some of you are definitely at an all time high in regard to something wonderful going on in your life. And it's causing some jealousy amongst your family and friends and they are not obviously showing you that they are envious of what's going on in your life. It could be in regard to advancements or promotions at a job. It could be that you came into some money or that you are taking a special relationship in a direction that's making people jealous. Um, but this card, Angel Aurora, is reaffirming that you need to stand your ground and don't you dare come down from that high because there are those who look to you for inspiration and you are the one that they look up to. You, you are their example. You are, in a way, their hero. So, you know, stay on course. Just keep doing you. Keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right path. You are definitely on the right path. And for those of you Aries who are totally getting this card right now, who totally understand and resonate with this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Whether it's a relationship, job, career, money, whatever the case may be, whether it's a health issue, anything, it could be anything and everything. And you're just at an all time high because perhaps you got some really good news that you've been waiting for, or, it finally manifested whatever it is that you've been desiring or really truly hoping for. Yeah, whatever it is, it's huge because people are jealous of you. They are envious and they're threatened by this success that you're experiencing. But stay on course. You're doing just fine. Stand your ground and be strong. You're, you're perfect. You're doing well. Okay, so three months ahead, guys, we have Angel Fiona. And what her card represents, uh, it says, now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So I'm feeling like some of you guys have really been praying really extra hard about something, something major. And it means the world to you. It's totally in tune with your heart. And, um, so you've done your bit, you've done your prayers, you've, you've done the positive thinking. So just kind of hold out your hands, hold out your arms to know that you will receive it when you're meant to receive it. And be open to receiving this divine guidance and assistance from your angels. They are all around you and they are acknowledging that you deserve this help, this assistance that you've been praying and hoping for. It's there for you. So again, you've done your, your job by praying about it, thinking about it, and honing in on it. So now let the universe do its thing. Let the angels manifest some of these wishes for you and your desires and goals and dreams. It's there for you. So just hang in there. It's around the corner. And finally, we have Angel Francesca. Here she is. She's been in every, practically every reading I've done today. And um, her card says, what do you desire right now? Visualize, visualize, I can't speak today. Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So guys, as I was mentioning to some of the other readings I've done, Francesca, She's the angel that will help you manifest your goals and dreams as long as you fully believe in it. You cannot let one ounce of negativity creep into your mind, your heart, your soul. Live it like you already have manifested that goal or dream, like it's happened. And get, it, get rid of the nevers, like it's never going to happen for me. This is never going to transpire. Get rid of that self-talk. Think positive and get rid of the what ifs, like, oh my God, what if this is never going to happen? What, 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 what if, blah, 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 blah. It's like a never ending cycle of negative talk in your head. Even if you never speak it, you're thinking it. So you're giving off that energy. 
into the universe. It's picking up off of that. So again, what do you desire right now? What is it that you want? Is it a new job? Is it a new relationship? Um, is it your true love, a soulmate, money, good health, career, whatever the case may be? It could be something as simple as, I want to lose weight. You know, I want to stop smoking. Whatever it is, guys, focus in on what you want. You can achieve it. And Angel Francesca is there to help you guys. So hand it over to her. Pray to her and see how she can help you. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Aries, uh, for the months of April through June. I hope you guys like this reading. Um, take from it what resonated with you. And uh, if you liked it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.